Okay, uh, <clears throat> literally there's no pressure. We back again. I'm your host, Bank and Bug. And it's your boy, Ego the Stunt Man in the building. What it do? Okay, so, uh, <clears throat> you know, I'm, I'm going to talk about it, everything that's been going on. But we can, we going to start it off with the, uh, the shit that happened at Bonfire. Like, <laughs> hey, I went viral. What, I mean, what, like, okay, like, tell the people, like, how it really started. How it started is this, man. At the end of the day, we end this shit to be legends, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes every great legend takes his own path to not following the rules, see? What I did was I took shit into my own hands. So with that comes the backlash and the backdrop of what the fuck went down at Barfire. Y'all want to see what uh, he talking about? Go on my page, check that out, you know what I'm saying? And um. Straight the fuck up. That's just what's going on. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, we here for the people, bro. That's what we here for. That's what, you know what I mean? That's that's what we here for, bro. We here for the people. You know what I mean? Okay, well, when I seen the video, <laughs> <laughs> you go viral. <laughs> you was like, you was like mad as hell. Like I ain't never seen you like upset like this. So, uh, nah, well, I do have prior PR training. People gotta realize, you know what I'm saying? Like, ego, you see ego, you see the gold, you see the jewelry, and you see the ESA, you see the people with me, and the people I associate myself with. You be like, oh, you just a rapper. Nah, bro. I was in FBLA and SGA. I was the vice president in FBLA, and I was the treasurer for SGA in two high schools. So, like, that, like I, I had prior PR training, so I knew to pretty much get the people to rally and didn't really go too hard. But you gonna see my emotion because I'm a passionate dude. I'm passionate on hell, niggas know. Niggas know, you know what I mean? This is me every day. When you meet me off the mic, on the mic, this is who I am. And nigga know what the fuck going on, you know what I'm saying? Bonfire know what the fuck going on. Take out know what the fuck going on. No hard feelings to nobody. I did what I came to do. I put my young niggas on, you know what I'm saying? Some people felt like it wasn't the time for that. And guess what? That's another conversation for another day. But at the end of the day, you know, that's how that shit played out. And I feel like we took multiple dub homes. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, some people got to work out some different things on their end. But guess what? I had my reconciliation. We, I met with the folks. I got my apologies. Niggas apologize. Thank y'all for apologizing. You feel me? Because I deserve that. Because I'm a real one. To the end. You did. And that's what the fuck going on. So like, yeah, no hard feelings. I ain't gonna bash take off. I ain't gonna bash bonfire. But you know, it was handled poorly. And at the end of the day, if I gotta be the example, the martyr or the casualty of war, that's just what the fuck going on. But I'm making a way for my folks. You feel me? Like my folks tapping in right now, cause they know I'm making a way for the folks, the people. I just threw the big art spotlight showcase, nigga. You pulling up at one o'clock, and I still had that bitch going. Yeah, I'm a, yeah. I'm gonna be a legend at this shit when it's said and done, bro. And niggas gonna know. Niggas gonna see that shit and they gonna be like, damn, that young nigga just started doing that shit a year ago. Yeah, fuck, nigga. I'm up. And the album out, we didn't say volume one. All that shit. Listen, bro. That shit happened, right? And while it was happening, we didn't say album was dropping. <laughs> On the bonfire? Yes. So while it was happening, we didn't say album was dropping on all three Grand War. So, like, they didn't do nothing but just help us. Thank y'all for the help, you know what I'm saying? Because that's the type of shit you can't buy right there. We couldn't buy that, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, you know what I mean? They didn't get to hear that New Young Ego and Young Quiz. And uh, my nigga Cartel definitely crashed on the way to uh, Bonfire. That was fucked up. So that's like the sacrifice that a nigga really be mad about. But other than that, we went up. <laughs> you see the show? Did you see the show? Yeah, I mean, I got, um, I seen parts of it. I mean, that night when I when I got off, I was like, man, I don't, I don't think I'm going to make it, man. It was just one of them nights I was just like, I don't feel like I'm going to make it. So I just kind of, I kind of laid down. I always do like some cutting up videos or something, and I finally just went to bed. But I got to make sure I come out every time. Because I want motherfuckers to support me like that. You get what I'm saying? So I, you can't complain about people ain't supporting you when you ain't supporting nobody. So. That's straight up. And shout out to Bo. This nigga done pulled up on me like damn near. Ever since he said he gonna start pulling up, that nigga pulled the fuck up. So when y'all see Bo, y'all see my goddamn business partner, the host of Literally is No Pressure, tap in with him. We gonna lock in interviews with y'all. We gonna get y'all straight back down on the back end, on the front end. Goddamn, make sure everything 100. ATL Well Radio. Shout out CK. Shout out Rose. 
the DNA is basically going up. We're doing for independence, bro. Now, I got, I got to say some uh, some real shit. Okay. Okay, if, if somebody was talking about you, right, would you want me to tell you or would you just want me to just... Want me to say shit about it. See, that's the thing. That's that's really how that whole situation came about. Like, niggas, it's always so many niggas connected to one conversation. That's what I don't like sometimes. So, like, it's a situation where nigga wasn't even worried about me, but they was worried about another nigga. And that's what we got to start doing. We got to start worrying about another nigga, bro. Nigga, I, all these niggas worried. If you worry about another nigga right now, you need to kill yourself. I'm sorry, I'm not promoting um suicide, but at the end of the day, like stop that shit, man. That shit ain't good for the culture, bro. Like, nigga ain't trying to goddamn be out here worrying about somebody else instead of who the fuck they need to be worrying about. And if you ain't doing what's real, and if you ain't doing it for the right reason, then you need to go reevaluate your own circumstance. You know what I'm saying? But that, you know what I mean? If somebody talking about me, bro, like you ain't gotta really tell me. Or you know, you can, but you ain't really got to because, see, niggas expose themselves. Just like going back to that situation. They expose themselves. I ain't got to say shit. I put out the footage, let the people feel how they want to feel. I already got how I feel out of it. I just spoke about it on the radio. Like, I ain't got no hard feeling toward them folks, you know what I'm saying? Other than they ain't get that new Young Quiz, your ego off. It's on the way, Break the Scale album featuring Young Quiz and sit that motherfucker on the way, nigga. Yeah, you know I mean, they ain't get to hear that. And then my body cartel crashed out behind this shit. He lost his car. The nigga is hurt. He went and did a performance Monday. He was he barely could perform. Like niggas is really sacrificing shit behind this shit. Niggas got kids. Niggas got all types of situations that they don't understand going to the, the front end and shit, man. So you know that's the only thing. But like you know, got niggas gotta stop worrying about other niggas, bro. And like in some form or fashion. If a nigga talking about, like, say if a nigga was talking about you, right? And I sit back and I run back to you and I tell you that like this, in some form or fashion, that's whole nigga shit. And how why I feel like that is because what that way I was raised, if I just come do that, that's kind of inciting or insinuating some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like in a in a certain type of way, cause out of out of sight, out of mind. You know what I'm saying? So if it's out of sight, out of mind, then like you gonna keep doing you in regardless, with the, whether if you knew the information or not. The only way I feel like that's subjugated is if it's life threatening. If it ain't life threatening, I feel like why you running back and talking? That's what females do. Females be like, "Oh girl, did you hear what such and such said about that?" What he always do in high school? You know what I'm saying? Like you know, y'all need me starting like bitches. <laughs> well, most of the time, I stopped it. Like, if somebody say something crazy, I was like, nah, this, you know what I'm saying? They're my people. Like, we ain't finna do this. So, that's probably what I I watch them, though. I definitely watch them. And, but, <clears throat> though I won't probably say, like, hey, bro, this nigga ain't for you, I start showing you real signs, too. Like, when we around that motherfucker, I start doing like little shit, like, not want to have certain conversations around that motherfucker. Or doing certain shit like shit, goddamn, coming up and dapping you up and then pounding that motherfucker down. Like, yeah, I know it's COVID, but I'm still gonna dap him up and just pound you down. You know what I mean? Because I don't know you. You know what I mean? Like, I start doing the shit like that. Then you'll start wondering, like, damn, well, why ego? Like, everybody else, for Yeah, then one day you'll probably ask me. Then I'd be like, yeah, I don't really like that motherfucker. <laughs> like, yeah, then I just flat out tell you. But, again, that's, I got a three strike policy. That's, that's another reason why I roll like that. Because just because I don't like certain ways like how you move, until you strike three times out with me, you still in the clear. Once you strike out three times with me, it's over with. What's what's a definite strike against like being cool with you? What's a strike like? A strike on business? Even on like, business or y'all just being cool? I, I say being cool. On being cool, stealing from you. You steal from me, bro. And I'm cool with you. Can anybody know me? No, I just, bro, I got you. So, and you steal from me and we cool, that's a strike. But again, that's just a strike. I won't even cut you all the way off. That's just a strike, but you only got two more. Now you do it two more times, then you just a dumbass. Or if you do two other things, then, you know, you lost a friend. But, well, let me ask you a question. Wouldn't it depend on how much they steal? What if they, like, they Nah, know? hell no, it don't matter. I had a nigga steal my roaches. I still strike with it. Just cause it's like the You know what I'm saying? What the niggas come and try to get everything? I mean, he still got two more strikes. 
Nah, nigga that try to come get everything now. That's, that's a strikeout, though, right? Yeah, that's a strikeout. That's a strikeout. That's a strike that's strike that's strike that's that's home run. Yeah. yeah, I agree on that. That's yeah, a strikeout. Strike Only because you came in my center hole. My home? That's my center hole. You come in my home. You try, or not even just my home. Like, say it's like my business. You coming for my brand, my old. Like, yeah, that's a strikeout. That's a strikeout. You know what I'm saying? Yes, like, Musically, a situation like that, you would have to like be trying to slaughter my brand. But like real life wise, re real real life wise, you would have to literally goddamn do some shit like that. Like come in my home and try to take everything or like rob me for some shit. Like like yeah that yeah that's a strike. I ain't no coming back from that nigga. I ain't no we just cool again. Goddamn none of that bullshit. You feel me? Like this is gonna be straight. Goddamn you know what I mean? Okay, one okay, one more thing. Okay, let's just say the person they talk about you, let's just say they talking about your wife. Is that different? Hell nah, because see now, you know, I'm a, nah for wifey, hell nah. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Cause it's one of them situations where if it's wifey, yeah, you gonna get your ass smacked, bro. You know what I mean? Just cause niggas know the type of respect you gotta have. You just that's respect, bro. That's respect. Like if that is if you got a girl. And I ain't even got to know her for like, I mean, you only been coming out fucking with me for like two months strong. I only would have had to see her two weeks out of them two months that you done came out. And I know that she associated with you. And if I see a nigga even tugging her wrong in the club, we might be getting ready to fight. And I don't even know if you're going to be with her next month, nigga. But it's just the principle. Like, the we our women are our queens. Our motherfucking queens, bro. Like, if we not protecting the ones that that's close to us already, nigga, we already is trash. You know what I mean? Like, but I know, I know, I, I it's just like you know when when a man disrespect your wife, that is disrespecting that man. So um, that's how I always look at it. So you gotta watch yourself around somebody, a woman like saying shit or doing shit. I don't hang around dudes that disrespect women. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Nah, that's for real though. I, I tell you another, I don't hang around dudes that don't take care of their kids. I don't give a fuck what they baby mama say. I know what a nigga do, because if I'm around a nigga, I know what the fuck you do. Because you know baby mama sometimes gonna be baby mama. But I don't hang around niggas that disrespect women. I do not hang around niggas that don't take care of their kids. None of them niggas is around me. I know a couple of them niggas, and we cool, but I don't hang with them niggas. I hang with real stand-up niggas. I only stand up niggas around. You done seen the niggas I hang around. My niggas stand up. Now they, you know, they ain't these promoters though. Uh, but I don't hang with promoters either, nigga. I don't hang with promoters. I work with them, but I don't hang with them. It's a different. You know what I mean? I'm cool with some promoters. I kick shit with some promoters, but I don't hang with them. You know what I mean? The niggas I hang around are stand up niggas. They'll, they'll help an old lady across the street, every one of them. Like that type of shit. Okay, well, I wanted to talk about this road shit that happened too. We <laughs> going viral. Wow. Okay. We so going viral. The thing was, okay. we going viral. Oh, you know, you know, you know. Okay, you can't like do that. Can't just start that shit. I want right here. Like, oh, we going viral. Okay. Over there or something? She fucking you, man. Well. We gonna, we gonna we, start we are. like, okay, so has anybody ever uh, made you take a picture down off of social media? Like, let's just say your wife seen a picture of you, and she was like, fuck that shit, take that shit down, I feel disrespected. Like, has anybody ever did you like that? Uh, no. No. Because you gotta understand, bro, I only use my social... Like, people are mad at... Like, I don't do birthday posts, bro. Like, I love a lot of... I got a lot of love for a lot of folks in my real circle. And they'll be getting birthday posts all day for everybody else. But I don't do birthday posts. You should call them. I mean, I wouldn't even say that. Like, when I see you, happy birthday, my nigga, get you a drink, smoke a blunt with you. Like, if I'm not already with you that day, then that's just what it is. Like, you know, and that ain't... I don't think that's them, that's me. You feel me? Because personally... Birthdays when something like we just glorified growing up. We was poor, nigga. Like we didn't have it all. So like, birthdays when just something we was just like ah oh, birthday. Like nah, like 
that's that that's that project mentality. Like I, I'm traumatized from that shit. So long story short, like people are mad at me to this day because I don't do certain shit on my page. Like I don't do birthday posts, or I don't do sh certain shout outs, or I don't promote what they want me to promote, or you know yada yada yada. Like so, I, I deal with adversity on my page all day, every day. Cause like it's this certain shit I just refuse to like let my page be a bit. You see, how I got my page set up like. My page is set up like my resume, so you currently see what's going on and how active I am. So like, I try to keep that relevance going. Like, my kids get, matter of fact, my kids get the own birthday post. My kids, that's it. When they say like, yo, when somebody look at your page, your first three posts will be promoting whatever you got going on. So uh, they shouldn't have to look through 20 posts to see what you actually do. So. It's good that you keep it like you marketing yourself. Yeah, I always refresh it and archive it. Like, I play a jigsaw mind game with that shit. Like, you'll see my page one way in the beginning, and then goddamn next week, you be like, oh shit. It's like a whole switch up. You know what I'm saying? Then when you see the multi grid post, that make you want to tap and be like, what the fuck was this nigga building on his page? Then when you go and you tap instantly on it, it's like a whole web page. I got some more, uh, like, Details I gotta finish on it, it's still kinda under construction, but y'all need to be still in the sauce. So I'm trying not to really go too hard on my page right now. Cause I see a lot of y'all niggas swagger jagging with the grid post. I see y'all niggas. Like stop taking my swag with the grid post. A lot of y'all niggas weren't doing the grid post until I came along, bro. Like a lot of y'all niggas weren't promoting the way y'all promoting. Like, you know what I'm saying? Stop swagger jagging. I know what's going on. You know what I mean? The only people that I ever knew to do the grid post. That showed me the way was Rockland One and Take Off ATL. Nobody else showed the grid post in, in any other fashion or form. You know what I'm saying? Even from that, I took it and I did my own thing with the grid post. And now I'm starting to see a lot of these other promoters, a lot of these other artists using the grid post. Yeah, I wasn't doing that shit. So, you know what I mean? Start doing that shit. Start taking swag. Make your own swag. But that's why I went that hard on my shit. Because once I started building my second page, we say ego. Then I'm gonna start goddamn fucking with the grid post in a whole nother fucking light. You know what I mean? But for real, I ain't I ain't necessarily had nobody tell me to take it nothing down, but I have people all day mad, like that I don't do some shit on my page. It's your shit, that's like your house. Don't nobody tell you what the fuck you in your house or that's how you gotta look at it. You can't tell nobody to promote your shit or nothing. Yeah, man. Oh. Okay, um, Rose, come over here and sit down if you want to talk. Oh, hold on, hold on. Because I'm going to talk about it. I already said that shit, bro. No, I'm going to talk about it. I mean, that's like, bro. No, y'all already know. ATL will already know. I ain't that type of woman. I ain't that type of woman. The show is just literally in your pressure. You know what? I'm going to come on. Come on. I'm going to come on. It's literally in your pressure. That's the show. No, no. It's a lot of pressure, baby. It ain't no pressure. We got to get it's okay, literally no uh, pressure. That's the show. I was just saying, I'm coming on with a lot of love. You know, we got to get this out in the air. And I guess be, me and you being host um, on a radio show, we got to say it on the radio. So let's go, bud. We vow! Where you want me to start? I, I want to know what nigga who ain't claiming you had to. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. First of all, don't, don't even try me, bud. First of all, you shouldn't even be worried. Ego just got through talking about it. Your own co-host just got hey, through man, talking. Man. No, 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 just, no, 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 no. I'm, no. I'm telling you, let me do this. Me. He right. just got through talking about start worrying about another nigga. First of all, uh, and so it has something to do with it. Okay, exactly. And that was my whole point. Yeah. So let me tell everybody out there. Me and Bang Bug, we randomly do some of his shows together when you know his co-host and not here. Are uh, we just? No, cause I'm 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 kind of let me calm down, cause I'm kind of no, pissed. Don't be cause pissed. no 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 no, I'm I'm good. I know how to handle myself. P P R relations. I'm kind of pissed, you know, because I demand my respect. Bug, me and Bug took a picture. We were taking pictures as we do all the time after the show. You get what I'm saying? And we took an uncomfortable pose Ooh, that yeah. I felt. Hold up, I. No me and Bud were in here vibing. I knew me, him, and Mickey were in here vibing. I'm not attesting to that. But what I'm attesting to is when I ask you to take something down that I told you I don't want to have that kind of image on me, I was standing back on Bud, fine as hell like this, right? 
But I didn't, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I didn't, I didn't get on you, baby. I didn't get on you, but I didn't know that we looked that way. My whole point is, because he's childish. My whole point is, I didn't like, I didn't like the way, I didn't like, that ain't disrespect. Exactly, there you go. Hell that, he don't want to hear it, he don't want the word. I ain't no childish. Come on, 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 I, this is what I'm trying to get to understand. Like, bit. look, we all Quite gotta bit. show love with each other. Quite so did bit. I make that situation weird? Cause I was like, we all was fam. We can get go. close Quite with bit. each other, and like we can Quite take a picture. Are you open the door? Uh, you in case you here. Did I goddamn make that fucked up? Cause, like, at the time when I was saying the shit, I ain't know goddamn um, that this was gonna happen. It's but, some other. It's some other shit. It's some other but shit, then, but I ain't even talking about that. I'm just talking about the shit that happened. No, no, I'm, I'm talking mm -hmm. about, I'm just talking about the fact. Mm -hmm. The fact is, I said everybody yeah. should move closer. Yeah. And if I would have known that this was going to happen with the pictures and shit like that, I I got it on my conscience. I feel like I would have never said that. Because I thought all of us was cool. I ain't think it was no situation with taking no pictures, but obviously we fucked up by doing that. And, um, you know, boy, I think you should live there. I mean, that, you feel me? Like, I mean, she she got a man, you know. You know, on, on that same show, she said she ain't had nobody. Hey, but guess what? Guess what? All right, look, this what we gonna do, man. Man, you know, respectfully, she got a man. <laughs> and goddamn, you know what I mean? Boy, my boy Borg is out here. He said, uh, what's his favorite line? What's his favorite line? I'm, I'm lonely and a, a what? <laughs> I'm single and lonely. I'm single He's single and lonely. So y'all see, y'all see that shit, ladies. My boy, he needs somebody. You know what I mean? Come for him. You feel me? And shit, we out here in these streets. You know what I'm saying? It's literally no pressure. Nah, man. It's all love and war, man. You already know the fuck going on. Rose, that's family. We gonna be straight regardless. That's what the family do. We we air our shit out and we get it up out of there and we got there to keep pushing. And we can't do that. We ain't doing nothing that's real, boy. You feel me? Your head all shiny and shit. Nigga, we got there about to start sweating. I'm like, nah, boy. Nah, we going viral. We going viral. I guess you ain't going to. I just felt like, I just felt like it was some fuck shit. Cause I ain't even talking about it because she been trying to get me to cash her for money and all this old goofy uh, shit. Like I'm lame. She been talking about everybody at the station. So, you know what I'm saying? Just doing all this shit. So I just been like, God damn, like, why the fuck? I just, I, it was just fucked up. Like, I just wanted to talk about it and get that shit out of my chest because I just felt like it was fucked shit and, and it needed to be talked about. But I mean, I feel like you spoke your piece. I felt like she spoke a half of her piece. And maybe you gotta hit the other half on the back end, but that's cool, cause you know. No, she she do that like I had on here before and she like when I would talk, she'll cut me off like it's her show. That's why I was like, fuck that. I wasn't finna do that no more. But we got chocolate in the building. Hey, how y'all doing? Yes, we do. Matter of fact, oh. she just came in during all the damn drama. Right? I was like, okay, the door closed. Oh, hey. They hollering. I'm like, mm. I did this. I was like, all right, I'm just going to sing. <laughs> we're going we gonna, to we gonna, uh, get into her song, Bubble Bounce, and then we're going to get into her song. Bounce! Hold on, before y'all start playing, I just want y'all to know this song don't drop until the 19th of this month. Exclusive. So this song ain't even out yet. Exclusive! I'm doing what I do with it. <laughs> Exclusive! We break the shit. You know the fuck going on? Bang a ball, ego. It's literally no fucking pressure, man. Everybody smoke a cigarette.